Hey, on today's tutorial, we are going to make an interactive hero graphic that follows your mouse as you move it around the screen. Uh, kind of. The caveat here is Figma doesn't really have the interactions to support this as it would on a, uh, on a website. But what we're going to do here is hack it a little bit so that it is good enough for um, prototyping and illustrative purposes. And it's pretty fun to see it in action. All right. Let's get to it. Uh, so the first thing I've done is you can use any graphic you want. Um, arrow, compass, doesn't matter. Uh, I'm picking an eye because I picked it. So I've got my eye graphic. I've got the iris uh, mapped or masked out so that it's individual and I can move it. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to make this into a component because I want to nest this in case uh, and want to use this eye somewhere else in my project. Okay, so turn that into a component. Great. Uh, I'm just going to rename this because I think I already have an eye component. So now we've got our eye component. And now we're going to create six states for this eye. And that's going to be where it's looking. So add a new variant. And then we will just... There's three, four, five, six. Okay. Now for these states, uh, the first one I'm going to leave like that. The second one I'm going to bring to the top right this one I'm gonna to bring to the bottom right this one will bring straight to the bottom bottom left and top left so there we go now we have an eye that basically does a full circle uh, now to make this easy we're gonna name all of our variants. So I'm just going to call this top, it's T for top, top right, bottom right, bottom, you'll, you'll see this comes in handy later, bottom left, and top left. Okay, that's all we need out of our eye component. So let's fire over here, we're going to create a new hero frame. Um, I'm doing this for desktop because obviously there's not a lot of cursors to follow on mobile. Um, you can leave this transparent or you can pick a color. I'm just going to pick a color that works for me at the moment. I'm not going to get too crazy with it. Good enough. Okay. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our eye component, wherever that went. Drag it in. We'll center it. Uh, and that's good. Now we're going to create hotspots. To use while hovering. So I'm going to um, create a frame. And you don't have to be exact on this because we're going to throw them into auto layout in a second here. So I'll just create three across the top. Shift A, put those into auto layout, set that to zero. Um, I'm going to bring that up. I'll make this about half the width. And then each one of these, we'll grab each of these frames. We're going to go fill and fill. And then we're also going to name these as well. So this one is going to be top left. This one is going to be, always name your layers or you never know where you are. All right, so now you've got that. You can duplicate it. So I'm just going to hold that down, drag it down there. That's great, so we'll name this one top, this one bottom, and so this will be bottom left, bottom, bottom right. Perfect. Uh, and then the next thing we're going to do is select these, and we're going to set them to scale, and to scale. And then we are going to select our eye and set him to center. And the reason we're doing that is just in case you want to resize your hero, all of our hotspots are uh, relative. Okay. Honestly, that's all you need to do to set up your component. So what we're going to do is we're going to call this eye block. I'm going to make it a component. And we are going to turn this uh, into six variants as well. 
we're going to create, again, six states of this. So there's three, four, five, six. And just, uh, we will name them as well. Right, okay, we'll start here. All right, so this will be top. This will be top right. will be top left there we go okay so now we can go through and we can select our eye that one's good so we're gonna go through here and we're and we're gonna set our eye to top right here we're gonna select our eye to bottom right Top left. Okay, that's set up. Now we need to set up our interactions. So we'll start here and we'll go around. So you pick this one on hover, change to top right. And we'll go smart animate. I'm going to go 500 on this. And then we'll go down here, hover, change to bottom right. This one we're going to change to bottom. Figma should be remembering all this if you do it a new interaction every time. So it's probably easier to just drag this to the actual uh, frame you want. There you go. See? That's what I get for trying to save time. And then this one is going to go to that guy. Okay, now we're gonna have to do that for each one of these. You don't need to do the one that the eye is set on because you don't need a hover state for the current frame. So we'll speed this up, I think, or cut it out, but same thing, we're gonna skip this one. We'll go down to the bottom here. So that's going to that one. Hovering. That's going to that one. Hovering. Okay, now that we've got all our interactions set up, we can grab a frame, grab our asset, drop it in, prototype, add a starting point. And there we have it. Now, your eyeball follows the cursor. Now, it does get a little glitchy if you start moving around too much, but where Figma's at now, this is the best we can get. Uh, it'll still blow the socks off your clients and uh, your design team. So, there you go. An interactive hero component that animates uh, based on your cursor position. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, check out my other channels, check out my Patreon. And uh, as always, thanks for your support. See you next time.